In today's class, we spent the afternoon session, we'd worked a lot through the morning session on the introduction of algebra uh, through the use of patterns and a relations or functions based approach to it. So the afternoon then was spent looking at a section called relations without formula, graph matching, and we started off with a few just different problems. This is again this multi-representation. This is where we're given the story, so we want to see about the graph. I started walking to school at a steady pace, realised I'd left my books at home, so I hurried back to get them. Then my mother drove me to school, so I wouldn't be late. So would you sketch a graph on your whiteboards? Position from home on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, do a sketch of that story. Are you going back? Oh, yeah, sorry, your position is going up there. Yeah. So now it'll be short to increase. Notice the time is going. Yeah, so it'll be like that, so you go back. Yes, yeah. It's a good exercise for students and for teachers to see how do graphs and the story of a graph, how do they marry together, kind of a breakaway just from distance time graphs, that there's more to it than that. But it's important as well because students then become, they become proficient really at moving back and forth between the two. And misconceptions then arose very quickly today in the workshops where teachers could see, okay, this is what a student might look at. This is why they might make a mistake on it. That's Jason's now. Terry did this one. What's different here? She allowed for the time at home. She allowed for the time at home. So uh, they're both perfect. I mean, they're both perfect answers. And we were just saying there that's kind of quite the beauty of it, I suppose, is the interpretation. But they'll surprise you with their, their level, I suppose, of chat and, and verbalising. One of them had this line here, kind of less steep, much less steep. And I said to him, well, you were driving, you were getting driven back to school. So his answer was, well, you haven't seen my mum drive. <laughs> There's a lot that can come up from that. Traditionally, algebra, which we've looked at today, that might be question one and two on a paper for the students to sit in their exam. They never see an application for algebra anywhere else within maths. So we're trying to break down those barriers. The hope and the aim then is that students no longer see maths as a subject to be feared or a subject to be endured, but that they see it as a very creative subject really that's around them. I like the, the practical approach and I like the way that they're, they're emphasising understanding rather than procedures. I think students often get caught up with procedures and I think understanding is what maths should be about. So I think it's good and, and those ideals are really good. So in this pack you've six graphs and you've six stories. So what I want you to do is lay them out on your desk, match your story then to the graph and we'll work through them. Moving at a steady constant pace. Okay. Um, that's it. That looks like the same person. Yeah. Okay. Well, we moving at a fast pace, changing to a slower pace. So initially fast. It's quite high. Oh, well, that didn't change. This, no? Uh, initially fast. Oh, moving yeah, to that. A slower pace would be. More gradual. Yeah. yeah. So put that there, yeah. Teachers leave the workshops with hands on methodologies loads of a variety of methodologies that they can bring back to use immediately in the classroom. I can see myself yeah, using some of the exercises we did today. I think students learn better when they interact a bit more in class as opposed to just sitting there and learning everything that the teacher's telling them. Um, when they can actually learn for themselves, uh, it's far more beneficial to them. Because it's not a practical subject, um, rarely would I use any practical work, you know, little cards and so on. I'm a science teacher as well, I'm so used to use the practical thing for science, suddenly using it for maths is just wonderful. Now this one causes problems. Speed against time for a car travelling at constant speed. <laughs> After we changed it. Did anybody else nobody decide to told us, Nobody they? told you. Isn't, it is really one of the trickiest if you look at it. We are so used to distance, time, constant speed. Overall, I would say that at this, in the, at this point in time, teachers are responding very positively towards Project Maths and the rewards are kind of manifesting themselves now in, in the classroom. Mm -hmm.